everyone, I'm Liz, and welcome to the Del Real Foods Kitchen. It's about to get real delicious as we turn up the heat to bring some new and inspiring flavor to your kitchen. So let's get cooking. Hey everyone, today I'm here with San Francisco vlogger Michelle Smith from thewholesmiths.com and she's gonna be teaching us a great paleo recipe. So today we're gonna to be making a carnitas nacho with a chipotle crema and cilantro avocado. Let's get the chipotle crema started first. Okay. Get your bowl. We're gonna use some mayonnaise. Scoop that in. We're gonna take some chipotles and depending how spicy you like mm -hmm. it, you can leave the seeds in or leave them out. And then we're gonna add a little bit of garlic to it, just about a teaspoon. And then we're gonna combine that well for the crema. So once you have it combined thoroughly, we're now going to just stick it in the fridge while we make the rest of the recipe. Okay. What we'll do next, Liz, is heat up our pan and add a little bit of olive oil, and then we're gonna add the carnitas to okay. that. So the fat from the carnitas will render down and um, cook in itself. So let's add that in. Mm -hmm. Pan's nice and hot. And what we wanna do is just heat it through mm -hmm. and let a little bit of the crispiness come okay. in through the fat and the edge. So we'll brown it a little. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So while we wait for this to cook, we can get started on the guacamole. We're gonna just take two avocados, take out the pits, scoop out the flesh. So to the avocado, we're just gonna add a quarter cup of cilantro, a teaspoon of garlic, and a squeeze of lime. And then we're just gonna mash it up together. And I always like waiting um, we get to the end to give it a little bit of salt, mm -hmm. just so you know how much yeah. you need. So you can see this is getting brown. So I gave it a mm -hmm. little flip. The carnitas are heat, heated through. So we're just gonna plate it up and we're good to go. We're gonna use the same pan that we cooked the carnitas in, add a touch more oil and saute some onions up. And we just wanna cook them through till they're tender and lightly browned. Okay. And then what we can do is start getting our plate with the chips together. Okay. And then once these are done, we'll layer everything up. So for this, I like to use plantain chips or you mm -hmm. can use corn chips. I personally like plantain chips because they're paleo and they're you know grain free, yeah. gluten free. But um, my husband likes tortilla chips, so you can either mix them or use either one. And so we want to plate it. Just put a mound on, but make it a little even. And then we're gonna put the carnitas onto it. So we have the. You can help me pronounce it. Molcajete. <laughs> This salsa is the roja. Del Real food salsa de moncajete yep. roja. So we'll put some of that on. Next up, we're gonna add the guacamole. We're gonna pull that chipotle crema that we made oh, first yeah. out of the fridge. And we're gonna top it with that. And then our final steps are going to be adding um, some green chilies. I just mm -hmm. use a small four ounce can of that. Okay. Top it off because I love cilantro. You mm -hmm. can add a little bit more. And just like that, you have chipotle and carnitas nachos using Del Real carnitas. Thank you for sharing this amazing, easy appetizer with us today. You're welcome, Liz. For more great tasting recipes, be sure to tune in here on our Del Real Foods channel and make sure to visit us at delrealfoods.com.